is the GUI when you open the interface. And in this case, I'm in the company, so you see multiple instruments connected. Some of them are in this one two address, some are in 10 address. So to change to the local data server, you switch to here, and then you will have this uh, local data server ready. Once I click it, you will just see a freshly opened uh, Lab 1 GUI popped up. That's it. And if you are curious what happens afterwards, we click this API command log, then we just see what is needed to build a connection to the instrument. For this simple demo, actually we only need these three lines that, you know, actually two of them are good enough. Import time is not important. We need to copy and paste them into our Jupyter notebook, which I have already done here and just run it. Then the instrument will just be connected. But I guess maybe some of you might have a question. Hmm. How should I verify that the instrument is connected by the API? There's no feedback so far. Well, good call. For that, actually, we need to move to the next demonstration about plotter or plotter-like function. So let me emphasize again, there's no plotter in the API, but there are functions that can achieve similar you know, features or functions. Well, depending on your use, this can be set and get, which actually somehow can fetch the data at very long time interval, or poll and subscribe, with, which is more suitable for reading data at a faster rate. For the most basic one, we can start with this set and get. So how it works is actually quite simple. For example, the default program here shows one kilohertz, and in case maybe I want to change it from 1K to 10K, I add a 10 here, and you can see the latest command at the bottom of the screen. And if I refresh this API command log, the bottom line here also shows what has been changed. If I copy and paste this into a, my Jupyter notebook, I should just be able to change the frequency from 1K to 10K. But if I do complete the same, there will be no change, right? Because both are setting the frequency to the same value, 10K. So how about let's change to one megahertz, one million here. If I run it, let's go back to the graphical interface again. You see the frequency is indeed updated to one megahertz. And again, remember the reason why it's updated is because these are common instrument settings and they are shared between the API and the graphical user interface. Likewise, if you set some value here and forgot how much it is, and to read the data is also very simple. So what is opposite to set? Get, right? So we use this daq.get to get the value, which in this case is exactly one megahertz as we just said before. 